Hello everyone, Mighty Benaya here, and I am back with the Alliance Tournament Game 1 versus Operation Blitzkrieg, and this is Day 3. We just got into Day 3, and the fighting has just begun. So, I'm going to go over a couple of hot spots and let you know kind of what's going on. First, our big... Um, our big push into Germany is going swimmingly. Um, Germany actually has pulled back with a lot of their troops because they have a fort building in Danzig. Um, so we should be able to, with pretty, uh, with a lot of ease, should be able to push into Konigsberg. It also looks like the Italians are wanting to um, help defend this, but um, it's not going to be. Uh, Konigsberg is not going to be long for this world. Uh, Russia is pushing down. We did have a little bit of a delay from Sweden, but Sweden is also moving down here, ready to attack Konigsberg, and then eventually in through Danzig and hopefully into Berlin, which does have a small garrison, but not very big. Um, Britain, there is not really any threat on Sweden, so Britain is moving down to help attack Konigsberg. Um, or at least land in Konigsberg whenever um, it is taken from Germany. Um, additionally, moving down south, I have 60 troops moving towards Hungary, um, and I have these 10 moving here. Um, it looks like they, do decide, they did decide that they wanted to retreat, um, so I'm going to allow that, but I'm going to slowly push up towards um, Limburg, and additionally, I have these troops here. I'm, I do not have right-of-way with Serbia. Um, I would like right-of-way with Serbia. And so in order to get right-of-way of Serbia, I cannot declare war on Austria-Hungary. But I have a troop that is um, disembarking, and I'm going to make sure that Austria-Hungary declares war on me so that he gets the popula uh, popularity penalty, um, and I don't. Moving um, farther to the west, um, Morocco has declared war on Spain, and he's got these 20 troops sitting right here. But the good news is Spain has plenty of troops to defend. Um, all that we really need is one-third strength, um, and we have um, already um, six troops here, um, soon to be many more, and he is not landing, he's not moving, so I, it is unconcerning to us that those 20 troops are sitting there um, with decaying morale. Um, as we move, move further north, they are trying to land here, um, but it is not going to go well for them. Looks like there's a couple of um, Spanish troops that are uh, defending. It will not take long to um, destroy those individual units. They split up, which is really, I don't think that's helpful to them. Um, it's helpful when you have stacks of five or more, but they are reducing their power. Um, that was my wife. They are reducing their power, um, but increasing their chances, uh, their, uh, their number of attacks. But because their power is decreased by landing already, it's really not going to help them that much. They also have a number of troops moving in to help Spain. Um, and then Italy is retreating from this front. They have not pushed at all. I think they expected us to push, but look at Italy running, running like the little coward he is, running from the fight. Um, what he is doing is he is moving up to help fight against um, our troops up here. Um, and it's going to take him a long time to get there. Look at all that time that it's going to take. Um, just to get to the edge, it's going to take him three hours. So it's going to take him a significant amount of time to reach the front. During that time, we it's valuable time for us because we can continue to push. This is the biggest concern for us right now. This is where they decided to attack. And they haven't really attacked in force. Um, they've made a couple of uh, small flowers of attacks on the shores, but if you remember, we took all of our troops from uh, the UK, every single one of them, and sent them either east or south, and so all of these troops are troops that we spawned from using barracks or spawned naturally, um, and look at this, we've got five here against two, so at one-third power, um, that two should be able to take out um, that five. Um, two v one here, um, and again, we should be able to take it. We might get unlucky. Um, we've got 4v1 here, so that's a concern, 
But if you look, we've got a 4v2 up here, and we should be able to push down and help defend this. Now, the biggest concern, um, this troop, this individual unit is heading down to help protect Glasgow. We are leaving um, Inverness completely undefended. We are doing that intentionally for two reasons. One, gas isn't that important, so it's not a huge resource. But also, look at how long it's going to take them to reinforce that. Um, the biggest problem with um, naval landings is that um, you're going to lose troops while you are doing it. And um, so having a, uh, a landing zone is helpful, but that landing zone is not helpful for them because it's so far away. It's going to take them forever to get troops up there. By the time they can get reinforcements up there, um, we're going to have collected our forces again to attack and take, take the territory back. So that's where we're at. Um, a lot of exciting things happening. France is obviously over here making moves. They did just embark uh, several units. Um, my guess, and I don't know this for a fact, but my guess is that's probably maybe 10 units. But again, they're late to the fight. By the time they arrive, all of these will be removed. Um, so they may um, make some headway in England. Um, but we have just tied up a large uh, section of their forces either traveling back and forth, like Italy here, or in a naval invasion that isn't going to be long-term beneficial for them. So um, that's where we're at. Um, there are also a couple of troops up here, but they're not of any concern. Um, so the good news is I think that we are, we are in a really good place. We're going to push Germany here. Once we come down, um, once we take Berlin, then Russia is going to head south and Sweden is going to continue heading east towards France. Um, we may uh, decide to deal with Italy in that mix as well as we get farther, um, and then I have the opportunity to come um, west through Austria-Hungary as well. So we're in a really, really good spot to win this. I'm excited to see how this goes. Um, subscribe if you want to continue seeing this content. Um, for anybody who is watching after the fact, for my team, you guys are doing great. We're going we're gonna to kill this thing. Sully Dio Gloria, and I'll see you next time.